Okay, open your eyes. <laughs> it's pretty great, right? It is. Mm -hmm. I love you. You. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> Look handsome. Don't, don't cry. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I was crying on my way here, Brad. <laughs> like, you look so beautiful. I feel so beautiful, thank you. <laughs> Dear Kelsey, I love you for more reasons than I could list in this moment or this day, or even this year. I could talk about how much I love the way you dance with me while making dinner, or the humility and perseverance with which you pursue your passions, or the partnership we have built together during these past nine years. Sarah, I vow, in simple words, to love and to cherish you until death do us part. Many have used those words to mark this moment, and in their simplicity lies universality. Love is a word that everyone thinks they know, but that only someone who has found it can truly understand. It is, and I'm sure it will always be, the greatest joy of my life to have found our love. Okay, look, I cannot promise you that I will always unload the dishwasher first <laughs> or keep our dinners even moderately spicy. <laughs> but here is what I can promise you. I vow to always champion your dreams with the same passion that I pursue my own. I vow to invest in who you are as an individual as much as I do in who you are as a spouse. Most importantly, I vow that as we grow together, I will always seek to cherish everything about you. But more than anything, I vow to be your partner in all things. So thank you for the journey we have already shared, for the one we are about to take, and for the roads not yet traveled in the years to come. A thousand lifetimes would still be too short to spend together. But wherever this lifetime takes us, I know this commitment right here and right now is already the biggest and most rewarding adventure we will ever embark on. Please. Dear brothers and sisters, we come rejoicing into the house of the Lord for this celebration as we stand here with Kelsey and Sarah on the day that they intend to enter into this sacrament of marriage. Kelsey and Sarah, you have come together into the house of God so that in the presence of the church's minister and the community gathered here, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by a sacred seal. I, Kelsey, take you, Sarah, for my lawful wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness, and in health, to love and to cherish until death do us part. I, Sarah, take you, Kelsey, for my lawful husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death do us part. It is now my honor and joy to present to all of you, Mr. and Mrs. O'Flaherty. Naturally, we need to thank you all uh, first for, for being here. It is genuinely humbling to have you all here to celebrate us. Go Mannings! And let's welcome the reason why we're all here tonight. Friends and family, the newlyweds, Sarah and Kelsey O'Flaherty. Good evening, everyone. My name is Tim Manning, and I'm Sarah's dad. Kelsey, you and Sarah complement and complete each other, and we are excited to see you grow together as a couple. So Sarah, that I'm the proudest father a man can be. You inspire me to be a better person, and you make those around you better. She was a gift from God, and I will always be grateful that I have been given the honor of being her father. May God continue to bless her and Kelsey and grant them love, safety, happiness all their days. My name's Megan. I'm Sarah's sister. You are both such amazing people. I'm so standing next to you 
is the greatest privilege of my life. From the second that I met Kelsey and I was like, that is the person with the qualities and the personality and the mentality and the, the drive. To, that's what Sarah needs. I vow to love you not only as a sibling, but as a friend. I vow to be there in every moment, whether it's good or bad. I vow to stand by your side, even if I'm in a different country or state. And I just want to raise our glasses to a toast to a couple that is not only loves of their lives, but they're a partnership, they're a companionship, and they're the friendship that we all should strive for. So to Sarah and Kelsey, to a wonderful life. There are literally no words to describe how much these two mean to me. They are two people who I admire greatly. Um, I, I want to say that they are probably the two people I admire most in this world. Um, they are both wise beyond their years, as I think has been discussed in a couple of the speeches. But they don't let that get in the way of their curiosity. You know, they're not resting on their laurels as the two smartest kids at the head table. Uh, they are always trying to be better, and in doing so, pushing the rest of us to be better people. But seriously, this is, you know, jury's out on me ever getting married, but this could possibly be the happiest day of my life. Watching the two of you on stage today was one of the proudest moments I've ever experienced.